Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. Thank you for turning in. Four things. One, hit the subscribe button. Two, like, bell, comment. I'm going to do like a multi-part series on how the immune system works and what you could do to improve it during each stages of it. Because there's nothing like being happy and healthy, but also too understanding how there's different phases of the immune response that you can do with supplementation that's recommended to upbring it to keep it better. Hey there. And hey there. Hey, what's going on, man? All right, I just want to bring up an issue in regards to branding and recommended dosage. Now, I always respond with, we respond with, do your own research. When it comes to brands, there's a lot of brands out there, and we cannot, rec we cannot recommend a brand due to copyright laws. Whatever we show, that's what we use. And dosages. The dosage varies according to people. I just recommend the dosage that is given to the condition. This is why I always, we always say, do your own research because there's a lot of, there's a lot of different brands and dosage out there that will help your condition. So I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. So I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. Okay, in this video, I'm gonna talk about what you could do to boost each section of the immune response with supplementation because immune response can get out of whack. Your immune system can get wacky. Remember, I always suggest that when it comes to the systems, you want it to be like a nice teeter-totter. If one gets imbalanced, imbalanced, okay. It's gonna get into the crazy cycle. So remember when it comes to the main goal of the immune system support is the regulatory T cell. And you wanna balance out the Th1 and the Th2 and the T17 response. Because what happens, you could get more on one side than the other, and that's called dominance. So let's talk about people who are Th1 dominant. Now, when I'm talking about Th1 dominant, that means that it's overactive. It's overactive, so it's weaker. So you could be Th1 dominant or Th2 dominant. So which one are you? Th1, Th1 dominance, remember it's weaker, it's on overload. These are the people always getting sick. Why? Because the Th1 response is the first responders. If you don't have really good immune system, a good response team, you're always gonna get sick. These are the people always are, they're always sick. Always fatigued, they have low T3, low appetite due to, and also getting thin because of low appetite, delayed food sensitivities. These are people always getting sick. But let's flip it over. What about the opposite side, the Th2 dominance? Remember the Th2 dominance, that's the antibody response. These are the people who are always sick. You just can't shake it. You can't shake that cold. You can't shake this. You can't shake that. Heck, you're Th2 dominant, which means that's the weaker side. These are the people who always complain of chronic allergies. Chronic allergies. Chronic nasal drip, GERD. Histamine intolerance, they're, they're, dude, you're, oh, you're always getting sick, which is TH1. You're always sick, you can't shake this. TH2 response. Remember, because the main thing you want to balance is the TH1 and TH2 and the TH17. Most important, you want to support those T regulatory cells. Remember the T regulatory cells? That's the principle, that's the brain, that's the main computer system. Because if you turn on the T regulatory cell, you're going to tame tame the inflammation. If that immune system is neutral, best as possible, the teeter tar is gonna be center. Yeah, you're gonna have a little bit of this, but you're not gonna have extremes. Why? Because the regulatory T cells, they run the show. So if the main showrunner is down, what's gonna happen? The immune system is dysregulated, the cytokine storm, you get chronic illness and sickness. So what supplements could you use to support this system? Short-chain fatty acids. Short-chain fatty acids, you're looking at the intestinal area. Short-chain fatty acids, butter. Kerrygold butter or any type of cultured butter is loaded in what's called butyric acid. Butyric acid is phenomenal for the gut. Also, it's phenomenal for the T, for the regulatory T cell support cells. Butter, but also too, it comes in an oil. 
Yes, they're short chain fatty acid oil, and the dosages start off with one tablespoon. In addition, vitamin A, 10,000 IUs, vitamin D3, 10,000 IUs, and glutathione, 1,500 milligrams, or if you want to get N acetylcysteine, phenomenal too to help build up the intestinal barrier. So I hope this helps. Stay tuned.